Do you remember the first time you stepped into the Cleaver household and embarked on the timeless journey of Leave it to Beaver? Or perhaps there's a particular moment from the show that left a lasting impression on you. As we delve into the world of this iconic 1957 TV series, we invite you to share your cherished memories and personal experiences related to it in the comments below. Leave it to Beaver is a classic American television show that has etched its place in the hearts of viewers for generations. Created by Joe Connolly and Bob Mosher, this series offers a glimpse into the life of the Cleaver family and their young protagonist, Theodore Beaver Cleaver, as they navigate the ups and downs of suburban life in the 1950s. As we uncover some intriguing facts about the show, we encourage you to reflect on your own connections to it. Whether it's a relatable family moment or a life lesson learned from the show, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, let's step back in time and explore the world of Leave it to Beaver. Did Leave it to Beaver leave a lasting impact on you? What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Share your thoughts with us and let's keep the nostalgia alive. Leave it to Beaver, a classic 1957 TV series, follows the adventures of young Theodore Beaver Cleaver and his older brother, Wally, as they navigate the challenges of growing up in suburban America. The show, created by Joe Connolly and Bob Mosher, exquisitely captured the innocence of post-World War II America, offering a nostalgic glimpse into a bygone era. The Cleaver family, including their wise and loving parents, Ward and June, provided the perfect backdrop for the show's gentle humor and life lessons. The series' unique style, characterized by its wholesome family values and relatable coming-of-age stories, quickly made it a beloved favorite for generations. Its impact on popular culture endures, with the term Beaver Cleaver becoming synonymous with the quintessential all-American boy. Leave it to Beaver continues to be a cherished representation of family life in mid-20th century America, etching its place in television history. Eddie Haskell, the self-proclaimed King of Cool in the 1957 TV series Leave It to Beaver, was a character that stood out for his attempts to project a suave image. He had a peculiar habit of addressing people by random names, and often broke into jazzy song quotes, with one of his favorites being Cess Seabon. In a couple of season three episodes, and Leave It to Beaver, Wally's play, he can be heard singing, Baby, won't you please come home? Your love and dad is all alone from a song written in 1919 by Charles Darfield. Edda's renditions may have drawn inspiration from either the Frank Sinatra version or the Ricky Nelson recording of the song. While Eddie Haskell was a memorable character in the series, it's worth noting that there's a popular misconception about the show. Some have wrongly speculated that rock legend Alice Cooper, in his younger years, portrayed Eddie Haskell on the show. This stems from a misinterpretation of an interview where Cooper mentioned that he was like Eddie Haskell, as a kid, referring to their similar behavior and attitude rather than a role in the series. These intriguing tidbits add layers to the legacy of Leave it to Beaver, a show that continues to be a cherished representation of family life in mid-20th century America, etching its place in television history. Larry Mondello's sister, although talked about, is never shown in the 1957 TV series Leave it to Beaver. His father makes a brief appearance in one episode when all the kids gather backstage after the school play where Larry played a hop toad. This minor detail adds to the intrigue of the show as it hints at unseen characters and family dynamics. Stay tuned for more insights into the classic series Leave it to Beaver from 1957. The series was still earning good ratings, but its star, Jerry Mathers, wanted to retire from acting to focus on his education upon entering high school. As a result, it was agreed to halt production, and the series became the first primetime American production to have a series finale. This decision marked the end of an era for Leave it to Beaver and left a lasting legacy in the world of television. The show's conclusion was not the only interesting twist in its history. In fact, the house on Universal's back lot that was used for the exterior shots of the Cleaver's second home later found new life, as the exterior shots of Marcus Welby's house in the series Marcus Welby, M.D. 
Coincidentally, one of Hugh Beaumont's last acting appearances, just one year before his retirement, was a guest starring role on Marcus Welby in 1970, where the venerable Dr. Welby was living in his house, and he couldn't say anything about it. These intriguing facts add layers to the legacy of Leave it to Beaver, a show that continues to be a cherished representation of family life in mid-20th century America, etching its place in television history. Stay tuned for more insights into this classic series from 1957. Let's delve into some lesser-known facts about the 1957 TV series Leave it to Beaver. The show's low-key style of humor was intentional. According to Tony Dow, they aimed for chuckles, not big laughs. The subtle humor was part of its charm. Another interesting tidbit is that Stephen Talbot played Beaver's psychic Gilbert while his real-life father, actor Lyle Talbot, appeared as Joe Randolph in The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. Stephen Talbot later made a name for himself as a writer-producer-director of documentaries. Additionally, during the last two seasons, Frank Bank and Ken Osmond, who portrayed Lumpy and Eddie, appeared sporadically because both were serving in the armed forces. These facts shed light on the behind-the-scenes aspects of the series and the careers of its cast members. Leave it to Beaver continues to intrigue and entertain fans, even decades after its original airing. The 1957 TV series Leave it to Beaver holds a unique place in television history. Here's an interesting fact. There are no Christmas or Thanksgiving episodes, which is unusual for a sitcom, especially during this era. While many shows feature holiday-themed episodes, Leave it to Beaver chose not to follow this trend. This decision sets it apart from other series of its time and offers a distinctive perspective on the Cleaver family's everyday life. Stay tuned for more insights into this classic series from 1957. Edgar Buchanan, who appeared as the title character in Leave it to Beaver, Captain Jack, would later return as Wally and Beaver's Uncle Billy. This interesting connection between characters in the show adds depth to the Cleaver family's extended relations. It's fascinating to see how the show's creators used the same actor to play different roles, creating a unique link between these characters. This not only showcases Edgar Buchanan's versatility as an actor, but also adds an extra layer of complexity to the show's narrative. The intertwining of characters was a clever way to create a sense of continuity and familiarity for viewers. It allowed the audience to connect with the characters on a deeper level and made the Cleaver family feel even more like a real family. As we delve further into this classic series from 1957, we'll uncover more intriguing connections and behind-the-scenes stories that made Leave it to Beaver the beloved show it is today. Stay tuned for more insights into this classic series from 1957. As we bid farewell to the nostalgic world of Leave it to Beaver, let's take a moment to reflect on the unique place this iconic 1957 TV series holds in our hearts. This timeless show not only provided an entertaining glimpse into the Cleaver family's daily life, but also touched the hearts of viewers across generations. Now, it's your turn to share your cherished memories and thoughts about this classic show. Whether you remember the innocence of the bygone era it portrayed or the heartwarming life lessons it imparted, we invite you to join the conversation. Feel free to reminisce about the relatable characters, the life lessons you've carried with you, or simply share the moments that made you smile. Leave it to Beaver is more than just a TV series. It's a piece of our shared cultural heritage that continues to bring joy and wisdom to our lives. So, let your thoughts flow and let's celebrate the magic of nostalgia together. Thank you for taking this journey with us and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your unique perspective adds depth to the rich tapestry of Leave it to Beaver. Stay tuned for more engaging discussions on classic TV shows and pop culture. Until next time, keep those memories alive and keep sharing your love for the classics.